Sammy's a lot more intelligent and well-spoken than he gives himself credit <laughs> for. And when he said, you guys were talking to Chief Red, uh -huh. if you're not in your kid's life and you don't want to be, you might not need to be. <laughs> Saad didn't like that too much, but I thought that was perfect. Like, if you don't even want to be in your kid's life, maybe you shouldn't be. Is basically oh, what that, I, I, I get that, though. I get that. I get that because why force it and try when you really don't want to be there? Because you, 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 kids will see that. Kids it ain't even that try. Shit, it's man. why force it because you're not going to try. Mm -hmm. Right. And then it's like we all got homies that we grew up around who feel like their life would be completely different if their father was in it. But mm -hmm. the older we got, that was my point. and we realized what type of motherfucker their father was, you might not have been better off with him in your household. Yeah. Facts. That's mm -hmm. a fact. You see what I'm saying? And that's it's hard fact. to deal with. And that's something that me, as somebody who my dad and mom is still married and all that, it's hard for me to say that to my brother. Right. You know what I mean? Right. But at the same time, my dad's here for you. Yeah. yeah. You see no, what I'm saying? That's crazy. Like my, my right hand man, my mm -hmm. right hand man, then his dad wasn't around. Mm -hmm. But he looks at my. It's crazy because now that we older, he has my pops' mannerisms. Like That's a crazy. lot of shit that he oh, does. Wow. He has my pop like because he needed just that. like my dad. He needed. <laughs> he, he needed an example in those mm -hmm. areas, and he found a comfortable one in your father. That no, make facts. your dad one of the illest. Yeah, no facts. Because he did that for your folks. Shout out yeah. to Big Ted. Yeah, man. Salute to him, man. Absolutely. Absolutely. Wait, are you a junior? I'm a third, bro. Oh shit! I don't Shout think out we've ever third. talked. I'm yeah, technically a third, but. Everybody middle name different. Yo, uh, really? Like, talk about, I'm a third, but they gave me a middle name instead of yeah. My grandpa but they still don't called have me one. the third. Like, and my dad got a different one. My grandfather never had one, so it's similar. Yeah, yeah. My yeah. little brother's the fourth. Mind you, you know, you know, it's fucked up though. <laughs> my grandpa just passed. Rest in peace. Now. God bless. Peace, but I'm the last of his name. Mm -hmm. So if I don't have a son, oh, I'm the only boy. The name dies with me. I'm the only boy. That's crazy on both sides. That's wow. crazy. You're the only boy. Only boy. So all of them always have. Her daughters? Uh, when, it, when it comes down to um, carrying the, the, the legacy on, mm -hmm. the name, the only hope. Do you feel like there's I'm, a lot of weight I'm, to I'm that? I'm the golden child. I mean, I got over that a long time ago. Because I <laughs> fuck around, might not have had no kids. <laughs> Wait, hey, tell me you got one? Mm -mm. Not one? Mm -mm. Not one? He's surprised. Maybe he's like, sitting out there or something? Like it's a, I made mean, shit. <laughs> yeah, I ain't out there. That's a down though. Contacted. <laughs> <laughs> well, I used to take my name because like, at the same time you heard what the quote was. I would want to be that. Yeah, no, for sure, for sure. I can see that though. You see what I'm saying? I can see you being. But that's good. part of the reason I don't. So you gave me more life. That's part of the reason I don't. I'm scared to death of a baby mom. Yo, man, you know what it is though. Yeah. Having a kid, I remember I, I had mine at 23. Mm -hmm. The scariest feeling ever is sometimes like. When you feel like you can't provide for them, like mm -hmm. you know, sometimes it be feeling like I, like I'm a bad pop to me. Everybody like yo, you trip me. You know what I mean? Motherfuckers out here don't even see or talk to their kids. But and when your I can't level do of, the most, your level of provide is different than other motherfuckers too. Yeah, that's like your broke ain't the same as somebody else broke. Right, subjective, very. You know what I'm saying? Like you could be, I just bought a pair of sneaks and you know I got a check coming, mm -hmm. so we just going chill to the check come. Other motherfuckers broke is I'm eight months behind on everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's very subjective. It's very subjective. But I just wanted to speak to the point. Like, um, I'm think I'm glad that you brought that up, Justin, about the um, what his statement was because um, I definitely understand your your perspective of it. But I feel like people need to be challenged. Like, just because you don't want to be there, like, it's still your responsibility. And I think accountable is a word that we said was like has been used. Like, it's like a it's a it's one of those hot words right now. Um, but people need to be accountable. Like. I get it. You don't want to be shit. I don't want to do a lot of stuff either, but I gotta do the shit. So <laughs> I just mean to the level of toxicity. I know. What you, no, I know. When I, it gets I toxic, we better off without you. you no, know I know what, what you mean. mean. Absolutely. That's mm -hmm. what I understand. You. I, absolutely. It's crazy. You could be dead broke, but shit, you there every day to pick the kids up, make sure they motherfucking situated, get their homework mm -hmm. done. Like that's positive. Nah. You could be trying to figure it out. You know what I mean? Like is the weight that I'm gonna put on you ain't the same as your mate or your ex might put on you when it comes to that. But when you toxic, mm -hmm. yeah. You gotta get the fuck out though. the way. Thank you for watching that video on YouTube. Remember to like and subscribe to this video. Share it with your friends. Follow us at Loving Them One on Instagram and go to the lovingthemone.com. New full episodes every Tuesday, highlights throughout the week, and previews on Sundays. Full audio every Monday. What he said. <laughs>